So let's take a look at how to include Ulma CSS in your React project. Okay, so first thing I have created one React project using the create React command line option. And I'm in my my-app folder where I have this React project. So I'm gonna start it with yarn start. You can also use npm start to start your React app, okay? Once you start that, next thing is to check out CDNJS for a Bulma CSS. I'm gonna copy this Bulma minified version of CSS. And then after that, I'm going to open my project. And here I have public folder where I have index.html. Okay, here I want to find out this link reference and here i'm going to include one mass css which i already did by recording the video okay and make sure that you have this proper link re reference to one mass css okay and once you do that next thing is to check out your app projects okay so we are going to check the source folder and then here you have app.js. Now here you have this div named app and inside that we are going to add some Bulma CSS element. Okay, so let's take a look at that. Okay, so we are going to explore the documentation. And I'm gonna add something simple. So let's check for components. And here I'm going to make use of the same message. So let's try and add a simple message such as this. Okay, once you copy this HTML example or message in Bulma components and go back to your app.js and paste it here, okay? Now, if you check your React project tab, you will find it auto reload and your Bulma component for message is also included right here. Considering it has Bulma CSS CDN path, it would be easily able to take the CSS required for component and you will be able to make use of Bulma CSS within your React project. You can completely rehaul this entire page just by making some modification in your app.js. Also, you can make use of index.html for additional CSS files. Okay, so this was a simple demonstration of how to make use of Bulma CSS framework in React project.